Nick, how about over at Pure Storage? And undoubtedly, you all must be on fire over there trying to store all this stuff properly, have uh, you know high speed access uh, back into that capability. Tell us what's happening. What do you see from from your vantage point? Thanks, Luke. We we recognized several years ago that the needs for dynamic data service in an, in an AI driven enterprise uh, were going to be radically different than what legacy technologies had you know, heretofore been able to deliver. The, the scale, the volume, the velocity, the variety of data service and data access patterns and in artificial intelligence infrastructures is, is simply radically different in terms of scale and velocity compared to you know, legacy database and virtualization workloads. So we created along with NVIDIA, a, uh, a, an infrastructure platform called ARI or Artificial Intelligence Ready Infrastructure specifically suited to the types of machine learning and deep learning data access patterns. And data and AI architectures and machine learning operations is highly dynamic. A storage array isn't someplace where you, you dump data and it's never seen or heard from again. I think that if anything, the artificial intelligence era has taught us that not, you know, data is the new oil. Uh, and what we've built is a refinery for actually uh, accelerating the time to value and the time to utility of that data to improve uh, AI algorithm training and of course, shortening the timeline to production. So we're very pleased that uh, that that message has and that ability has resonated across the federal government and resulted in the adoption of, of dedicated platforms for doing this kind of work. Um, and we're seeing that broad that trend broadly uh, across uh, the entire industry or really the entire operational space for enterprise infrastructure. You know, in this architecture, data service has to be incredibly fast and agile, but it also has to be almost invisible. Uh, you want to get the infrastructure out of the way so data scientists can actually focus on building models, about delivering capability, about iterating the models, and, and training the AI. So you, you you need a better mousetrap to do this type of thing. Right. One really more thing focused. we've seen, and really the last thing is, this effort has really emphasized that the need for infrastructure and data movement has to easily span on-premises infrastructure and utility computing infrastructure or cloud. So you have to build a set of, of data services within the architecture or leverage them uh, so that you can seamlessly move your, your algorithms to the workload or algorithms to the data or move the data to the algorithms. It's much more efficient to move the algorithms to the data than it is to try and, and do the reverse simply because of data gravity. So. You know, that's that's been our focus is how do we enable this and we've had a tremendously positive response uh, from a number of customers within uh, the national security space across the DoD and of course we've been very successful in biomedical research and in other areas and we're, we're just very proud uh, to have seen this coming and created the capacity for addressing this new type of workload 